So the last time I talked about a banner in Dragon Ball Legends, other than the time where I was trying to fix the banners in Legends, was the three year anniversary where I said that the three year anniversary banners were the worst banners in the history of Dragon Ball Legends. Fast forward a few months, and I'm now talking about the Legends Festival banners. However, I'm not talking about how they're even worse than the anniversary ones. We're going to be discussing why they are not just the best banners in Dragon Ball Legends history. These might be the best summoning banners in the history of gotcha games. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I am your warden, Dimitri Strine, and today we are here not summoning but talking about the summons and i i i, th I think all right i want to say this is the first time i have ever uploaded a video talking about anything got to do with the summon system in dragon ball legends and have it be almost exclusively positive just wow the, the there's only one criticism i have with this banner only one and that's the fact that there's a hundred damn units on it. You guys know how I feel. The more units on a banner, the less valuable it becomes for me. However, it's honestly negligible because these banners are so absolutely cracked that it doesn't even matter. <laughs> like, it actually doesn't matter that there's so many units on the banner because these banners are absolutely broken. So as you can see in the corner, Sparking rates at 30% and triple the Z power. Honestly, that is what makes it so good. The uh, triple sparking rate is what makes the amount of sparkings negligible, but the things that make the banner as a whole so ridiculously stupid is the triple Z power. Instead of 600 Z power for a sparking or LF, you're getting 1800. So let's just say you pull yourself a copy of the Blueberry Boys over here, you're not getting a two-star unit. You're getting a four-star unit for one copy. Just one. Just one singular copy. If you pull two copies, if you just pull two copies of the unit, boom, seven stars. Seven stars off of two copies. That is absolutely insane. Three gets you to nine. Four gets you to like, I think, 11 or some shit. 5 gets you to 13, and then 6 gets you to 14. It is so stupid. When normally, you'd have to summon a unit 3 times that amount, making it 18 times to max them out, the odds of you getting an, a 14-star LF is just, it's non-existent. But if I had these rates back during the 3-year anniversary, my Corrupted Zamasu would be at 13 stars right now. That is how ridiculous these banners are. Because that's the amount of... Because I got Corrupted Zamasu to 7 stars on his initial banner. So if these rates existed then, I would have had a, a 13 star Corrupted Zamasu. These banners are absolutely ridiculous for no goddamn reason. And the sparkings on them are pretty good. There's a bunch of LFs too. Full Power Freeze is hella underrated. He, he People need to put some respect on him. Um, this new Broly is absolutely ridiculous. You got Do uh, God Topo, Revival Goku, Purple Hit, Red Frieza. You got some duds here, but Broly Chila is about to get a Zenkai. You pull a few copies of them, you're fucking good. There's a bunch of Zenkai units on here that are really good. You got yourself Oob and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Like, yes, there's a hundred units, but I'd say half of them are actually really worth pulling. It's actually impossible, I would say, to be shafted because even if you don't pull the new units, if you spend any relatively high amount of crystals on these banners, your box is going to look stacked. You are going to go from actually looking like a free-to-play player to looking like some damned whale off of one banner. Because let's just say you pull like, let's, let's just like, random ass unit uh dispo let's say you don't have dispo at all somehow even though this marks his one year in the game and he's been on like 55 banners let's say you don't have dispo you pull dispo four times he's already at red stars he's already usable now 
And because the because there's so many sparkings, you're gonna pull these guys. You're gonna pull the other sparkings. And it's not even that bad. Because honestly, a part of you might actually want to pull all these sparkings. And because of the triple summon rates, the triple sparking rates, the odds of you not getting multiple sparkings in every single multi summon are honestly pretty damn low. I think out of the like, what? I think I've spent 15K on these banners now. I think there's only been one multi, one step where I did not get a single sparking. And that was, I think, my third rot. I think that was the uh, EX or higher guaranteed on my third rotation. That is the only one. And I think there was only one step. Th there was only like one summon where I got only one sparking. <laughs> like, these things are absolutely ridiculous. My box looks actually kind of cracked right now. <laughs> because... Sure, I, I I pulled the Blueberry Boys twice, only twice, right? But I pulled other units like three times, and I'd say about half the extreme units in my box got the 14 stars because of this banner. About maybe a fifth of the sparkings in my box are at least close to 14 stars because of this damn banner. Like, <laughs> these banners are so actually stupid. And honestly, even if you don't even want these units, you should still summon on this banner just because of how valuable it is. Uh, it's it's crazy. If you had told me a week ago that Bla that the Black Friday banners were going to be this valuable, I would have thrown a bowling ball at your shins for lying to me. <laughs> like I would I would have pimp slap you across the fucking face if you told if you tried to tell me that dragon ball legends was even capable of having banners this valuable like you couldn't pay me to think that something like this would happen but it did and honestly i feel like the 30 percent sparking rate should be normal like with the amount of units they like to chuck on banners i feel like the least you could do is at least give us a lot of sparkings since you're gonna put a million of them on every banner. So personally, I actually kind of feel like the 30% sparking rate should actually just be the normal rate. Um, and the triple Z power, I'm, I don't know about you, but it'd be nice if that was a normal thing for LFs, at least double Z power, because LFs are very hard to pull. So I feel like I should be rewarded for actually, you know, being able to pull them. It's so like at least double rates for LFs would be nice, but or like double Z power, but you know, can't have everything, I guess. But bro, what do I have to give to make these staples in Dragon Ball Legends? What do I have to do to make every big banner have this attached to it? I'm talking every celebration, which would be 70% of the year because Dragon Ball Legends is always celebrating something for some dumbass reason. I'm not kidding. I, I, I think throughout the year of 2021, 70% of the year was spent in celebrations i don't know how the fuck you managed to do that but whatever man <laughs> and my battery's dying son of a bitch son of a bitch my battery's dying all right well we're gonna wrap this up real quick and i'm just gonna say if you're not summoning on these banners you need to be like if, if you want to wait until new year's to see what we get and see if these rates still exist for new year's go right ahead but summon Summon on these banners. That's all that's all I gotta say. I gotta get out of here before my phone dies.